Pastor Chris Kumpala with an overview of using our Google Drive system and especially getting into Google Slides to build our slide decks. We are at google.com to their homepage and uh, we want to make sure that if we've got a Google account that we change that uh, to the Living Word account or that you're signing in, uh, whether that's uh, 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 via link or otherwise, into the Drive system. Uh, so we're at google.com, we go to the nine dot app menu and go to Google Drive and open the Drive and uh, we'll see a number of folders. We're just trying to get to the Living Word uh, Mankato main folder. So this is what it is that we're looking for, is our, our primary folder structure for all of our resources as uh, a church. And uh, there's two folders you're going to be concerned uh, about, and that is going to be Media and Communication and Worship. Our Media Communication folder has um, sort of all the especially visual co communication elements for, uh, for the church. And, uh, and so there's uh, announcement slides. They're stored in here so that those can be live updated. And uh, I'll, I'll go over that a little bit later and show you where that's helpful. They just, they just live here, and, uh, and they can be changed uh, uh, in that folder, certainly. Um, and this is one of our, our Google slide presentations right there. So you, a, a number of resources in here that may come into play, but for the most part, they just sit there. We're going to go into the worship folder, and it's color-coded, so each of the subfolders is purple as well. You'll see worship slides, and this is the folder that has all of our previous worship slide decks from, uh, from the beginning, um, and uh, you know, modifications and so on. So that's our, our worship slide folder. We've got a song lyric folder um, that has song lyric sheets and also has... Uh, uh, PowerPoints from a lot of the praise songs that we've done, from a lot of the hymns as well. And, uh, and so we've got our slides, we've got our lyrics, we've got our sheet music for um, some of the digital sheet music that we have and own. Our multi-track and MIDI resources, our, our ambassador hymnal, this is a full database of all the hymns and also some things related to our communion service. And then our written uh, creeds, confessions, anything that's a spoken part of the service, that is going to live in the creeds, confessions, and responsive readings. And then this is copyright. We may have additional folders in the future, but we're going to dive right into worship slides. And I've made a copy, and we can change the, uh, the, the view of the slides to tiles or to a list. And I'm going to change the uh, sorting to uh, by last modified and descending, and I'm going to open up a copy of our worship service from the 26th of July, 2020. And this is what we're going to work with looking at this today. You open the file, and you'll see it looks very much like uh, PowerPoint, if you're used to using that. We've got our layout of, of slides throughout the whole presentation here, and we have uh, notes, which we usually don't have much of, uh, on the bottom and a typical uh, menu system along the top. Pretty self-explanatory. I encourage you just to kind of hover around and uh, kind of see what each of these buttons is, uh, is for and uh, uh, kind of navigate that way. So we're into our worship service. This is the home, uh, home slide while I'm uh, welcoming people and introducing them to the church. If I've got an announcement slide, that comes next. And then uh, most often we're, we're diving into prayer right away. But let's say, for example, that for whatever reason we wanted to um, uh, have our hymn immediately following that instead of instead of declaring our, our well, how about this? Instead of, <laughs> instead of having our, our prayer right away, how about we want to have our declaration of faith first? Okay, fine. We can just click that prayer slide and click and hold it. And as we drag it, you'll see that yellow bar for where its new position will be. Click and drag it down to after our confession of faith. And that's all we've got to do. Uh, I'll put that back to where it was right there. Let's say we want to move a whole section of slides. Uh, we can do it the other way around, right? Click the first slide, hold down shift, click the last slide of the section you want to move, click and hold, and move it to its new position and let go. And uh, as easy as that. So uh, that's easy enough. What, what happens most often, you know, in terms of we're, we're moving things around in uh, the service template, we are also very often, you know, adding something that isn't already here. So let's say for whatever reason we get past the confession of faith and we want to sing actually an additional hymn. We could right click and add a new slide and uh, you know type the uh, the information for the new hymn and uh, and handle it that way and then do the for formatting afterwards. That would be fine. Uh, what most often we're doing is actually taking the hymn uh, the format uh, formatted slides that we already have and just copying them. So I can uh, uh, click these two and uh, select the title slide and 
the content slide, just the first two, and right click, right click and duplicate those slides, and you'll see uh, these these are all intact. This this hymn, "The Lord's My Shepherd," is still exactly intact. Verse one, verse two, and on. But now I have these two slides to work with to uh, add a new hymn. I can change the title to "New New Hymn." And, uh, and align that. If you need to align that, uh, you can see that it does have guides to show that you are both vertically and horizontally centered if you really need. And uh, we can just change uh, the information and we can copy and paste new lyrics in uh, whatever, whatever those might be. And just make sure that when we're, we're uh, pasting them in, um, you know, we're pasting something new and we want to make sure that we're doing the uh, Paste without formatting. Control Shift V. So if we're in a, um, a, a worship slides and we're looking for adding those lyrics, uh, we can just paste them in. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let's go. Uh, we've got this open right now in one of our tabs. We'll go back to the Google Drive and we're going to go back to the worship folder into the song lyrics folder and we're going to look at our worship songs. We're just going to pick something, something out of uh, out of these slides that uh, that we can copy and paste from. And uh, we're going to look at Wonderful, Merciful Savior. And uh, I'm going to open up the PowerPoint version, which will automatically open in Google Slides, which is actually a, a new update since last year, which is really great. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you open that one or the, 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 the Google Slides one. It doesn't matter. And so... In this case, you know, we've got lyrics here. You can, you can be copying and pasting them from a website. It doesn't matter. But to just copy that, uh, that, those lyrics, go back into the, the slide uh, section we're working on, highlight the formatted text, and we're going to do paste without formatting. And there we go. And uh, as you can see, one of the things we run into, we're at 36, which is ideal. We've got Roboto 36 for our body text. And sometimes we end up with a line that goes just a little bit too long. And so we can use the plus minus on the font size and reduce that. Probably to 34? Yeah, 34. And, and usually we're trying to keep that number for the font size for our content between 32 and 36. That's, that's the, uh, the sweet spot. But we need to make some adjustments like that is, uh, from time to time. And uh, as you add more verses for uh, this particular hymn, you can just right-click, duplicate the slide, and repeat the process of just uh, doing a paste without formatting to change it. And, and uh, you've got your, your new hymn. Now, and so we, uh, we change this. We're going to put this as Wonderful, Merciful Savior. As, as we change this, we might say, okay, um, the sheep thing doesn't work for, for this. We, we'd like to find a, 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 a different image. And, uh, and I'll show you how it is that we change the, uh, the background image. It's very easy in Google Slides. So I've opened a new tab in uh, Google Search and done an image search. So we can go uh, and, and do an image search and search for Jesus' feet for uh, this particular search. And I can go to the search tools and first of all, change the size to a large size to make sure that it's high enough resolution to actually be something that works for a slide. And I can change the usage rights to Creative Commons licenses, which means that uh, it's going to be the kind of thing that we can use without getting into uh, any trouble. And uh, uh, with, with, uh, with caveat. <laughs> and dealing with copyright, that's its own issue. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about setting up uh, our Google Slides. And so we see an image here. And all we need to do is we're going to right-click the image. And we can see you know, the, the fully rendered image you know, with the, the, the high resolution. It gets really you know, pixelated. All we do is right-click that image, whatever it is. Instead of copying the image, in Google Slides, we're actually going to copy the image address. Okay, So we're just right-clicking the image, copy the image address, go back to our worship slide folder. And uh, what I'm going to do in this case is select the sheet picture we've got already right click it and we are going to replace image by url and we can certainly upload uh, images as well but in this case we're going to paste the url url that we had copied click replace and magically it'll be replaced to our new background isn't that lovely now you'll notice one of the things we deal with in formatting is that the home slide 
with the title can be lighter than the background. Most often to make sure that we're not having uh, issues with visibility, we are clicking the image, going into the format options, and uh, going under adjustments to reduce the brightness. And typically we're reducing that uh, 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 brightness by about 50% um, and maybe more than 50%, say 50 to 70% uh, is pretty good. If we go too dark, you know, we might be able to see this nicely in my monitor, but with our projector, this is just going to be a muddled mess and it's just going to look gray. And so, um, you know, we're trying to find something that's more subdued. So I'm going to go to 60% um, on this to have that work as a, a background. And uh, so now we've got our new background image. And now we've got the title slide worked out. So to fix the, uh, the content slide, I'm just going to select the sheet picture. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete the one behind that and the one behind it. I've got a couple layers there. <laughs> and we're going to go into our title slide, select it, uh, control copy. We can right click and copy, control C function. And then we're going to do control V or paste. We can just we can do that too. You just have to make sure you're selecting kind of the edge of the uh, uh, paper of the slide. I suppose you could put it that way. And we're just going to hit paste. All right. And now there's it, it's over. We have pasted it over the uh, the song lyrics. And so all we need to do now to get that fixed is to go under the arrange menu, and under order we can send it backward or all the way to the back. And so you, you can see the control down arrow function um, also works for that. And now we have um, a, a very nicely formatted worship slide for wonderful savior that's been dropped in. So whether we're talking about doing this for hymns, whether we're talking about doing this uh, for praise songs or for spoken uh, parts of the worship service, that is what, what we're doing is moving uh, these slides around in the positions they need to be. Um, copying and uh, pasting from the existing uh, sort of template. I'm just getting them arranged the way they need to be. So a um, couple more things. Let's say for whatever reason uh, that we are going to be skipping Wonderful Savior <laughs> um, in the presentation. Well, however we build the slides for Sunday, um, if I maybe want to hang on to this or... You know, I did a lot of work finding this wonderful background for Wonderful Savior, and maybe we're just going to put this particular song off a week, so I don't want to lose it. Um, what we can do is actually right-click the slide, and we can actually select Skip Slide. And you can actually select multiple, sli multiple slides to do it that way and skip slide. So that one we go into pre Present, uh, and we're going to come in at uh, the, the de Declaring Our Faith. We'll click Present. And now you'll notice that as we move through the presentation, whoa, where'd it go? It should have been right between these two slides, and it, it automatically skips those seamlessly for the presentation. So that's very helpful. Uh, another unique thing that we could pay attention to here is that on the home slide, we're going to have a link to this uh, presentation that is over in our communication folder. So you see the hyperlink? I'm going to click on that. I'm going to have to scroll down just a little bit, and you're going to see, okay, I've clicked on this, and now I've got a hyperlink, and I can open that and redirects us to a, a live rotating series of announcement slides, and uh, these will roll automatically. So as the service is getting started uh, 15 minutes before our worship service has actually begun, uh, this can be rolling on at least the main projector, uh, and it can be rolled in more than one direction so long as there's a Wi-Fi connection. And uh, we can have the announcements rolling through automatically. So uh, if we have that link, uh, that means that we're, we're changing, yeah, the slides for the worship service. But to change this, all we're doing is going back into the worship uh, uh, folder. We're going to go back to the main menu for Living Word Mankato. And remember, we can change how that we can have it list format, we can go to the tile format, which may be easier. Go to the media communications and to the announcement slides. And this is the presentation that we hyperlink to. So we can make all those same kinds of modifications and changes to our announcement slides. And it will automatically be synced so that on Sunday morning, whoever it is that's setting up uh, uh, the uh, 
projector and presentation for Sunday morning. You uh, can click this, and via internet, it will automatically set up our lovely rotating presentation slides, and we're in good shape. Um, when we're doing uh, uh, presentations, um, we can integrate video, and so I'll, I'll, show, um, I'll show you how that works. So let's say I want to have a video as part of our announcement time. I'm going to add a, a slide in this part of the worship service, and I am going to insert a video. Um, to do that, I have opened up uh, our website to navigate to our YouTube channel. If you go to livingwordmankato.org, that homepage, and you'll see these, these social media buttons, and that'll take us to YouTube and uh, to our YouTube channel. And what I can do is take this video. It doesn't matter where you're finding the, the video from. What you're trying to do is just get a uh, video URL that will work. And you can get a video URL, URL typically at a certain time that's supported by YouTube and other sources as well. We're going to copy the video URL. Again, if that's from our website or for someplace else, it doesn't matter so long as it's something that's kosher for us to use on Sunday morning. Again, copyright is something uh, that can be addressed elsewhere. I've, I've got this video. It's our video. I'm going to go to Insert Video, and I'm going to be able to just pop that in. You can also use an integrated search feature in here. Uh, here it is, by URL. Paste that in, and it brings in the video, and I'm going to just set that in. So now we're trying to get the video formatted to, the, to fit the slide, and, and we're just going to drag that around until we see it's centered. And trying to get it to fill the whole space so that when the video is played, it is in fact taking up that window so it's a full screen presentation that way. Uh, we can change um, uh, how it is that the video is going to be played. We can right click it uh, or click the video and we will see that there are options in terms of our format options. Okay, And as we go to format options, oh, when presenting videos will play on click as you go through presentation. <gasps> Wonderful. Great. All right. So, um, well, you don't, you're probably not going to have to do anything. <laughs> so as we come into the slide, it's going to be automatically set to play on click. Uh, you can set a specific start and end time for the video. You can have it mute the audio. You can do a couple of other, other effects here. But let's just go into the presentation and see what this looks like. We're presenting, and we're on the home slide. And whoever's got the control then advances the slide to the video. And obviously, I didn't get that quite centered correctly. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and click again. And the video plays, just like that. Uh, and that's, oh, that's really quite nice. So uh, that is how we can integrate a video to play. And once the video is done playing, the next click will advance us to the following slide. And that's basically it. Um, the nice thing is, is that we can have multiple users logged in at the same time looking at this. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like just by opening up another Google window. And I've got this set up under my own account. Uh, open up Google Drive under me. And I'm going to open up the same file. And this is under my own user. And, uh, and I can see somewhere in here, it should show me that, oh, look. Living Word. Someone is, is signed in under Living Word, and maybe you're signing in under your own account uh, working on this, and I can send a message live in the system that will show up saying, um, um, I'm going to click over here, and look, I can open a chat window and say, why did you drop that video in? <laughs> and uh, if we're working live, so if we're doing a, a live collaboration working through a presentation for something, you can see how great my typing skills are. Again, my keyboard's not where it's supposed to be. All right. And, uh, and now, as uh, living word on my end, let's say, you know, the, I, 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 I see this come up. Oh, hey, Chris is editing. And uh, he, sent me, uh, he sent me a message. Hey, now we can have a chat working through some of these things. And uh, as, as uh, one of us makes changes, the other will see those changes made live in real time which is really quite terrific. So if you're running into an issue, you can pick up the phone, call me. I can open the presentation, see what it is that you're working on, and uh, be able to make a fix, make some changes. And I can see, ah, living, you're working right here on the, uh, on the announcement slide. Okay. Um, lastly, you can um, 
um, uh, if things, things really go haywire, you don't need to worry about that too much because we can always revert it to a previous version of the file um, and, uh, and, and that's not too hard to do. All right, there is one last thing, sharing the file. Uh, on the upper right corner, and we're going to go actually under the version of this under living. Yep, here we are. You can see in the upper right corner that there's share authorization. There's a couple different ways to share share this. Uh, one is to, to send a shareable link. And so we can copy a link that allows anybody who's got that, that URL uh, to be able to get in and, and access, the, uh, and access the, the slide presentation. So I can even just plug that into the browser, and that's going to direct me directly to the file. So you can copy that into an email if you want someone to be able to dive in and have access or whatever else might be the case. Another way to uh, create access is to actually add defined users and to actually send um, a, a link so that someone has permanent access to the file. Uh, la I guess there's always one more thing, one more thing. <laughs> you can make a copy of the entire presentation. So uh, let's say that, uh, okay, we've, we've made this for the 26th and uh, we want to make a copy. And this is what I just did to set all this up. Uh, I just went to file, make a copy of the entire presentation, and it'll churn out copy of and then whatever that previous file name was. And then I can change the name of the file uh, to whatever it is that I want it to be. Test and training. We'll call it that for now and just, just hit enter and it's set. Um, if you want to change the file location, you can use this button to navigate and move it to a different home folder if it needs to be. Um, and you can start so it's a favorite, so it's easier to find maybe. So I hope that's a good overview for, for you for Google Slides. I hope it's helpful. Uh, thank you for those that are volunteering to support us in uh, utilizing this powerful communication tool. Thanks much.